Hiya Brian, can you remember we come to Wisto in 2004 and we come into Union office, yeah. uh, we had a word with you and you were getting ready for rapid pitch up then. Can you tell us a bit about what you've done since? I, uh, I retrained a little bit, I did a MVQ in, uh, with Job Centre and that helping uh, people get back to work, predominantly miners actually as it worked out and then uh, I did 18 months of that and I, I looked at my pension then and I thought, well, my wife had got cancer, you see, so we thought, well, get, get rid, so we'll uh, finish work and we'll start enjoying his life. And that's what we've done since. Fortunately, she, well, touch wood, she's been all right, she had the all clear, so we're going holiday all the time now and I do a bit of volunteer work. I can't fault you. And your lad, how's he going on? Lad is, is actually, it's uh, his back at pit again. Oh dear. He's at Atfield. It's in his blood. He's at Atfield, so he's enjoying it there, or says he is, and it's money, isn't it? It's the day we got, we need work, and that's it. Right, oh, Brian, thanks for that. Hi, uh, Steve. Uh, right, can you remember we come to Wisto in 2004? I can, yeah. And we interviewed you and Keith, and you were winding pit up. It was a sad day, and can you tell us about it and what you've done since? Yeah, I can remember it, Tony. Yes, it was a sad occasion because. It was a big family, wasn't it, at that mm. time? You know, and uh, we talked a little bit about what possibilities we could do, and uh, we took up a few of the options with the uh, systems they had in place. And I don't know if you can remember, but I did go off and uh, train to be a driving instructor, as such. Yeah. Uh, and since when's the pit finished, I continued with that, and I'm still doing it uh, several years later. Not necessarily the ideal job and the ideal pay by any means, but uh, yeah, your own boss. Uh, so I, I am continuing with that, and uh, but I've, I've not gone into any other form of employment. Uh, still keep picking up the papers and on the internet and s still seeing your name involved with the, uh, you That's know, nice. with, the, with the history as such of the mining. Uh, but uh, did eventually move away from the area, so I'm over at Beverley going a little bit further east. I remember, Steve, when uh, I were an overman at Lofthouse and you and Keith <laughs> were lads. We were lads. And uh, you were my timber man. We were, that's right, Tony, yeah, we were. And uh, We saw Tony's our leader, as our guy to dodge <laughs> wherever we could. But, yeah, we were young lads, we were young lads' ideas that we could move the earth as such. And, uh, well, yeah, you give us a future, didn't you? I, I tried. You tried, that's true. You give, us a, you give us a good bearing and we're still here. We haven't come away with any major accidents or any injuries, so you must have taught us something along the way. Hiya, Colin. You've trailed all the way from Wakefield. You brought some lovely weather yeah, with you. Very nice. What do you think about this reunion? I think it's been a right good turn up. I'm really pleased. I've seen a lot of blokes today. I haven't seen for 18 years, and I'm really pleased, like, you know. And it's do you been... recognise them all? Well, well, when they speak, I know, but, you know, I've, yeah. I've, some has recognised me and some haven't, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of water going under that bridge, Colin. Oh, all right, look, aye. Since yeah. we've uh, been in pits, isn't yeah. there? Yep, yeah. yeah, so. all, right. all right, then, Colin, thank you for that. Right, from 2004, Tony, uh, I moved on from, from Wistow to be a shift manager over at Moncton Coke and Chemical Works. I lasted there two years. Different type of people, different environment, uh, different type of management. Didn't, didn't suit me, so I looked for another job. <laughs> got myself another job local to home. It was a marquee company. I uh, got made up as a uh, yard manager for them. And unfortunately, with a recession, they went under. Uh, I were, at the time, I was looking for another work, and I just dropped on a guy who I knew quite well uh, from Wistow, who were doing some training work at Atfield for a company called Power Fuel, which were Richard Budge's company. Um, he said... Make myself available and go through and never talk to them if you're interested in a job. Uh, I went through an interview and I got offered a job as a deputy. So, from where I started, I've ended up back and I've been there since. The only thing since then, from Richard Budge, who went into administration in December uh, 2010. We went through administration, I thought we were going to be out of work again, but fortunately, fortunately we got took over by uh, a bank, ING. Uh, they, they have paid all the debt off what we're owed to the, to the, the previous bankers. And we've been being managed by a new company called Argreaves. They're managing the company on behalf of the bank, as they are not mining people. Uh, big changes in, in the, as, as, we, as we speak now and in the near, near future, it's been fetched round to how we used to work back in UK all days. 
so I'm really looking forward to the challenge of it next uh, 12 months. I've been going through a battle to get the Nacods Union recognised uh, that outfield. It's taken us 18 months after being taken to the Aircast by my previous manager. But I stuck it out, managed to get his union up and running. Earlier this year, every time I dropped on people that, uh, from, from the old pit, we thought it was at a funeral. And I'd made a decision last year that I would set up and, and look at doing a, a reunion for Wistow Miners. And uh, fortunately today we've got a smashing day for the reunion, as you can see. And uh, I'm looking forward to meeting all my old colleagues. Hiya lads, it's nice to see you all, all deputies together again. Uh, we're going to talk to David about his accident he had at Wistow first. Yeah, well to tell you the truth, it was my fault obviously. Uh, the machine were coming in about 20 yards out. We'd had a bad shift, and I'd got some sprags on the stays over the foot, foot load, and I just forgot about it. Last minute, I thought I'd go over the face chain to adjust this load, and that's when I, I grabbed foot mesh. There were not, there were no piece of mesh there, and I slipped onto the chain straight over the top. Next minute, I know uh, I'm on stays load and shouting for help or assistance, and I think it was the uh, the fitter who heard me and locked the stays loader out. And since then I've recovered by going to rehabilitation uh, centres. Uh, now uh, I can probably walk a three quarters of a mile with my sticks. I drive, I do gardening. So I, I'm not too bad as you might think really. Uh, and I've adapted to it. You've got to do, haven't you? Yeah. Can you give us a sound check with that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So for people did, did you get there, for people who, who aren't aware they're off <laughs> sorry dear. See my legs are off bit here. There. You can see I've got his camera there. Got your camera, so they're, they're about six inches above the knee. But I'm okay, I find actually have a good life. You still have your pigeons? Yeah, I've got my pigeons, I go to Ruby League every so week, so I'm his okay. Legs is as solid as his, uh, <laughs> I mean, Brian works at Mining Museum and I see him regularly. He always makes me welcome, like he normally does. I'll just let him tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, Mining Museum, it's in Wakefield. Uh, we take people down, show them around the mine, talk about mining, or our experiences about mining, uh, and it's a good laugh. We have a good, good crack with everybody. We try and make it as enjoyable as we can. Most people do enjoy coming which I think you've enjoyed going around with the Stoney. Yeah, they normally they want me to go on my own. Yeah, we don't like to let him go on his own, he sees too much. <laughs> I think it's very educational what they do, Tony, what, what the lads do. They, they do an actual great job and to keep, to show the history uh, how we've moved on is excellent. So I think it's a credit to the lads that's there doing what they do to say that they're just normal work people and that now they to give these tours underground. I think it's an excellent service that they do for the public. Hiya, John. Hiya, Tom. You've got a lovely day today. You've, you've organised this well, you and Keith and Barry and Party. Yeah. I think you've done a great job. Thank you. Uh, I remember when you used to be main electrician, mate, <laughs> and you used to mend them locals for us when we were brought down. <laughs> oh, Can you just tell us a bit about what you've done since you've finished the, the, the Wistow? Well, quite a lot of things, really, Tony. I mean, my daughter, we've been helping them and... and she set a property development company up and an interior design business. Her boyfriend has got a recovery company, so I go repossessing cars as well, which is oh. quite interesting. All over the country. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've been involved in Royal British Legion and all that type of thing, uh, just promoting this club. And then we bought a motor home Very about good. four years ago. And we've never been at home since, to be truthful. We've got you on a, lo a good date. You've got me at home. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it, I mean, everybody says it, that uh, you really don't know where your time went. No. You know, you no know time to work. But it, just to talk about this today, it's really good to see these lads because we did that coast to coast last year and we were all talking about, you know, what happened to so-and-so and, and, and where they'd gone. And, and Keith suggested, well, we should do something, which is what we've done. Yeah. And I'm really, really chuffed with this. And uh, it's just been great. It's really nice to see all faces, especially yours. Oh, <laughs> thank you, John. Thank you. Hiya, Paul. Hiya, it's nice to see you. Uh, a bit since I've seen you. Yeah, now, a few years, yeah. when you left Wistow, can you tell us what you went to do after you finished at Wistow? Well, I left Wistow when I went actually working on vibration white finger claims. And uh, I did that for seven months. But uh, I didn't like it. I didn't come settle in like the office environment. So then I went back to uh, doing what I initially did before I went down pit, and that's sparking. 
I worked at electrical contracting uh, building trade from 2004 up to 2009 and I got married redundant. And I were out of work for six months, which were tough. And uh, eventually I got uh, a job working for uh, a company called University Partnership Programme and it's they do all the facilities management for a lot of the uh, universities and I work up at Leeds Met. I'm a brand new student village there and I'm maintenance, uh, well official titles maintenance technician which is a broad uh, bat really and I've got, uh, it's mainly electrical but I could be working on that or if need be I'll unblock a toilet or empty a bin if it needs to do it. Do you still have your union activities? Or, uh, like me I were a union man, you were a union man, Do you still are you still involved with unions? No, I haven't uh, been involved in unions since I left Pitt. Really, I mean, I, I don't. I mean, apart from being uh, moderately active as a as a, bran as a branch member rather than a, 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 a branch official in NACODs. I mean, when I finished in NUM, I didn't really get involved actively in anything. It's it's there's not really uh, there's not really the corporate the place where I work. I think I'd be in a branch of one if I wanted to set anything up. Hi Archie, Hello, it's Johnny. brilliant to see you mate, Great. we've been through a few campaigns together with Tuby and Alan Wadsworth and Party, yeah. can you just tell us a little bit about when you come to Wistow with me? Well it was in 1982 when I arrived at Wistow, uh, from Newmarket, joined the Lofthouse Mafia, <laughs> they, they adopted me, Deadly. Yeah, and um, we had some good times, we had some hard times, but we had some fun. We looked after each other. Uh, Tony took me under his wing, got me interested in the trade unions, and from the trade unions I got very interested in the Labour Party as well. Uh, come 87 though, I had, to, uh, had a bit of an accident. What did you tell him about that? Well, I was out delivering leaflets for the Labour Party, and uh, I came into contact with a, a tractor, a crop spraying arm on a tractor, and it damaged my spine. I got back to work, but only on the surface, and eventually I finished up at Whitemore. Uh, but I took my health retirement in 1991, and then I had a bit of a turbulent time, one thing and another with my health. But when I got to 40, I, uh, I went to a hospital in Wales, and they taught me how to deal with pain without taking drugs and things, and it turned my life around. And from then I decided I'd go and see the world, so I've been doing a lot of travelling since then. I'm glad to hear that, Archie, old man. You were as solid as a rock for me. Thanks for that. Yeah. Thanks for the interview, Archie. Thanks for telling it. Hiya, Martin. I remember when you first come to Whistle and you brought your wife, and a, what, a friend? Yeah, a friend. And yeah. you were a rotten sod. You had them opening at and they yes, couldn't do it. That's right. I were at the other side and I could hear you giggling. Yeah. Now, yeah. last time we come to Whistle, we did interview you when you were getting ready for winding down yeah. and I think you were moving to another pit. Can you just tell us a bit about that? Yeah, I, I did me last 12 months at Rick Hall, which it wasn't, it wasn't pleasant at the time, you know, missing all your mates and now you go into another pit and you get the same, but it's getting into fold again, you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, we're all right, did me 12 months there and once Rick Hall finished, Obviously, that was the end of an era. And what do you do now, Martin? I deliver HGV vehicles for Leeds Commercials three days a week, which is uh, very good. Than yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs>